Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I did this gorgeous and pink inspired cut crease today. Um, I hope you like it. I actually did the live video on my Facebook group page, um, which is Heidi's Lip RX, if you're interested in joining that and checking it out. Um, but I basically just did a live video um, and had not tried this look yet before and just went for it. And this is how it turned out. It actually turned out really good. I'm super excited about it. So <clears throat> this is all full Cinegents makeup. Uh, I have the anti-aging foundation on in almond. Tried that today, new, and loved it. Um, super like just went on so smooth and like gorgeous. Like my skin looks flawless. Um, and then I use a bunch of different products on my eyes to get that gorgeous pink glittery cut crease. I'm loving it. Loving it. And then I just have some simple glitter gloss on. So, and then I got a little, little of that. Oh, what's it called? Pink berry with some pearlizer mixed in on my cheeks. So anyways, I went and ran errands. Um, earlier today, I watched a video by one of my favorite YouTubers, Jeffree Star. Love you. Um, so anyways, he did this whole review on like, I think it was Wet n Wild, like their new um, release that just came out. And I was having such a flashback, like who remembers Wet n Wild? I loved Wet n Wild when I was growing up because it was so cheap and it was so fun. Like they had all this, like everything was just glitter and I am like glitter fiend. And so he did this whole review on like all of their new, um, like skull, uh, vampy, uh, goth release that just came out. And so I was at the store today and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to see A, if they have it and B, just kind of meander like the aisle. And so it was so funny because I was totally going through and having like reminiscent moment. So, um, one of the ones that I did find that I thought was really kind of cool. Cause you're talking like about how a lot of the smaller brands, not smaller brands, but a lot of the cheaper brands, shall we say, less expensive brands, are really kind of stepping up their game and trying to come up with like better products. And so who else remembers hard candy? I remember, oh my God, like it's, it's so throwback, like glitter liner, glitter mascara, like everything. And so anyways, hard candy had a bunch of palettes of highlighters. Now I am like a ride or die Cinegents girl, but this was like, I literally think this was like six or $7. So I'm like, I'll give it a try, like totally worth it. So this is the hard candy. Um, so baked highlighter trio and says light up your complexion with hard candy just glow highlight trios inspired by the aura of the moon mm. a touch of moonlight contains three baked face powders uh, with hypo oh, holographic effects that give your skin a luminous sheen and ingredient oh, ir i can't talk tonight <laughs> and iridescent glow um includes the brush, which really the brush I could like do without. So this apparently is the moon, ooh, touch of moonlight is what it's called. So I already got all the stuff off. The brush is kind of like meh, throw away. Ooh, and it's like, it's got like this sticky tacky stuff to like keep the brush in there. Like what, you're gonna steal the brush out of the packaging? Come on, oh my gosh. And then there's like, now there's like that hard, nasty glue that's in there. Oh, all right, get rid of that. Okay, so so these are kind of like a hard pressed powder. So I'm gonna take this first one, which is like this white one. And kind of looks like, ooh. So I'm just gonna swatch that on my hand. So it kind of gives you like that moonbeam iridescent color. So that's pretty, okay. It's a little like definitely settles in the lines. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Okay, now I'm gonna try this middle one, which is like a silver. Ooh, that is like super sparkle. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so now you have, it's like, 
like very, very silver. Okay, and then you have our last one here. And I thought this one looked really cool because it has almost like a bit of a purple tint to it. So let me wipe my finger off. Like it's a little unicorny. So, ooh, that is like super sheer and definitely has, like you can almost not even see it on my hand. It's right here. Almost has like a pearly purple finish to it. Okay, so I'm gonna try, oh, let's see, which brush do I want? Okay, so I think I'm gonna try more of like the purple one since I have this really cute like pink and I'm already a little bit dewy because I mixed my blush with my pearlizer. So I'm just gonna like, So it doesn't, it's like super sheer. And I feel like even when I, like when I go to put it on my brush, like it's not even, it's not picking up real great. Cause it's kind of, it's kind of hard. It's not like a super soft palette. Although that is kind of a pretty, it's, super subtle and it's this really kind of pretty purpley pink finish which goes really great with my pink cheek color that I did earlier and my pink eye so it's okay it's super subtle um which is kind of nice uh it's probably something that I can actually wear like on the reg and not just like crazy going out like costume makeup. So it gives you really kind of a nice, pretty pink. Okay, so let's try on this side. We're gonna go for that like hardcore silver. Okay. So this one is definitely more obvious. And honestly, this one is fairly subtle as well, but it definitely has more silver fleck to it. And, but I definitely feel like it is making my pores like really highlight my pores. <laughs> Mm. Mm. it's okay. I like this one better. This one's much more subtle and like blends in with my skin a lot better. This one I feel like is making my skin look super, like my pores, making my pores look real obvious and huge. So I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that. Okay, um, now we can try, maybe we'll try this. All right, we'll go for the white one, okay? Maybe. Ooh, that is like. Okay, I feel like this would maybe be good for my Cupid's bow. So I'm gonna take like a little fan brush here. I feel like it has a hard time like picking up on the brush. Not bad. Okay. I'd be curious to see how this wears throughout the day. Because one of the things that I really love about like our Cinegents Pearlizer is that it literally lasts all day. And this stuff is like super um, like mica, feet, like glittery. I feel like it would just kind of flake off really easily throughout the day. Mm. And again, 
I'm like, I feel like, I don't know, like it's just not, it doesn't pick up on the brush super great. I mean, the white's not bad. I'm not a big fan of the silver. More of that pink one, I'm liking more of the pink highlighter more than anything. That pink one is like that one. It's kind of like the unicorn color. That I would see myself wearing. Like that is a really pretty, and it's super, super subtle. So I could actually wear that like to work um, without looking like super crazy. Cause you know, when you're a nurse, they get a little, they get a little touchy about that kind of stuff. You know, they don't want you wearing super crazy. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush here. And take that high. So now I'm doing more of that unicorn color. Maybe just put it up in my brow. That's not bad. The other two are kind of a throwaway. I don't know if I'd really wear them much um, over what I already have. But this pink one is really kind of pretty. I wonder if I can like put that over my crazy silver one that I have on. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of how that silver like really highlighted my pores and like made my skin like, well, because I don't have that big of pores. So I would imagine that if you do have big pores, like that would just like, boom, blow you up. All right, well, all right, hard candy. I'm sold on one of them. One out of three is not bad. I paid like $6 for it, so basically I could consider $6 for one highlighter there. And I, you know, it's kind of a fun color. I don't mind it, a little unicorny. So, all right, all right, I'll give it a little try. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll check in with you guys another day.